Imagine a world where the operating systems we rely on every day are no longer controlled by a few giant corporations. A world where users, developers, and even enterprises can harness the full power of their computers without worrying about licensing, forced updates, or vendor lock-in. That world is not coming in the distant future, it's being built today. And at the heart of this revolution is Linux. The story of Linux is often told as a tale of incremental improvement, a niche solution for servers or hobbyists. But in reality, Linux is quietly reshaping the entire landscape of computing, and its influence is about to explode in ways few people fully grasp. In this video, we are going to explore why Linux is poised to change everything in the world of operating systems, and why the choices we make today could define the technology landscape for decades to come. Linux is not just an operating system. It is a philosophy, a movement, and a foundation upon which the modern digital world is being rebuilt. At its core, Linux represents freedom. Freedom from proprietary constraints, freedom to innovate without asking permission, and freedom to adapt software to fit the exact needs of the user. Unlike traditional operating systems, which are closed, controlled, and monetized, Linux is open source. Every line of code is available for anyone to inspect, modify, or improve. This openness has created a vast ecosystem of collaboration where developers around the globe contribute to projects that impact billions of devices from the smallest embedded sensors to the largest supercomputers on Earth. Consider for a moment the scale of Linux adoption. Android, the world's most widely used operating system on mobile devices, is built on the Linux kernel. The majority of cloud infrastructure, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azureless on Linux to run servers efficiently at scale. Supercomputers, the machines, solving humanity's most complex problems in physics, biology, and AI research, overwhelmingly run Linux. Even niche devices like network routers, smart TVs, and IoT sensors depend on Linux. Yet, despite its ubiquity, Linux has often been invisible to the average computer user. Its potential has remained untapped for mainstream desktops, but that is changing faster than most people realize. The first sign of this impending shift is the dramatic improvement in Linux desktop environments. For decades, Linux desktops were seen as functional but rough around the edges perfect for tech enthusiasts, but too fragmented and inconsistent for general users. Today, projects like Pop, Underscore OS, Fedora Workstation, and Ubuntu 24.04 LTS offer polished, professional-grade experiences that rival any commercial operating system. They support modern hardware out of the box, integrate deeply with cloud services, and offer user-friendly package management that makes installing software as simple as a single click. The Cosmic Desktop from System76, for instance, represents a paradigm shift in desktop usability, bringing features that rival proprietary systems while remaining entirely open source. These improvements are not minor. They signal that Linux is no longer a niche solution. It is ready for mass adoption. Security is another area where Linux is redefining what an operating system can offer. Traditional operating systems are often reactive, patching vulnerabilities only after they are exploited. Linux, by contrast, benefits from a distributed security model. The open source nature of the system means that vulnerabilities are more likely to be discovered and fixed quickly by a global community of experts. Additionally, Linux distributions offer fine-grained control over permissions, sandboxing, and user privileges, making it inherently more secure in critical environments like servers, financial systems, and industrial control systems. With cybersecurity threats growing exponentially every year, the security advantages of Linux are no longer a theoretical benefit, they are a necessity. But perhaps the most exciting aspect of Linux's rise is its role in emerging technologies that will define the next decade. Artificial intelligence, edge computing, and cloud-native applications are all environments where Linux excels consider AI. Training large models requires massive computing resources, and Linux's flexibility allows engineers to optimize every layer of the stack. NVIDIA's CUDA, for instance, runs primarily on Linux, enabling researchers to push the boundaries of machine learning. In edge computing, where devices must process data locally to reduce latency, Linux provides lightweight, customizable distributions that can run on nearly any hardware, from microcontrollers to industrial servers. Cloud-native technologies like Kubernetes and Docker are built around Linux containers, creating a standardized platform that allows applications to run consistently anywhere, accelerating development and deployment cycles. Linux is not just part of the future, it is the foundation upon which the future is being built. There is also an economic and social dimension to Linux's expansion. Proprietary operating systems carry significant costs, both in licensing fees and in the limitations they impose on users and organizations. By contrast, Linux offers zero-cost solutions that are fully modifiable, empowering startups, educational institutions, 
and developing countries to access the same computing power as global corporations. Countries and enterprises looking to reduce dependency on foreign technology are increasingly investing in Linux-based infrastructure to gain sovereignty over their digital operations. Governments in Europe, Asia, and the Middle East are actively promoting Linux as a strategic tool, which not only cuts costs, but also enhances digital independence and security. The evolution of Linux is also challenging long-standing assumptions about software ecosystems. For decades, proprietary systems thrived because they could lock users into their platforms. Controlling software distribution, updates, and compatibility, Linux flips this model on its head, with package managers, app stores, and containerized applications. Software distribution becomes transparent, decentralized, and highly efficient. Developers no longer need to navigate licensing, traps, or platform restrictions. They can create once and deploy anywhere. This flexibility is forcing even traditional software companies to rethink how they deliver products. Microsoft, once the arch nemesis of open source, now embraces Linux with WSL Windows subsystem for Linux and Azure cloud services. Apple is integrating Linux-compatible technologies into its development pipeline. The industry is acknowledging that open systems like Linux are not just viable, they are essential for innovation. One of the most underestimated impacts of Linux's rise is in education and skill development. Learning Linux is no longer a niche skill reserved for system administrators. It is becoming foundational for anyone pursuing careers in cybersecurity, data science, or cloud computing. Universities worldwide are integrating Linux-based labs into their curricula because proficiency with open source tools gives students a competitive advantage in the job market. This widespread skill adoption creates a feedback loop. As more professionals understand and prefer Linux, more organizations adopt Linux infrastructure, which in turn fuels further innovation and improvement. The gaming industry is another frontier where Linux is starting to assert influence. For decades, gamers have been told that Windows is the only viable platform for serious gaming due to driver support and exclusive titles. That narrative is breaking down rapidly. Valve's Steam Deck and Proton compatibility layer allow modern Windows games to run seamlessly on Linux, and major game engines are increasingly testing and deploying Linux support. This not only expands Linux's user base, but also proves that an open-source system can compete in a market previously dominated by proprietary giants. The ripple effect is profound. Software vendors and hardware manufacturers now have incentives to support Linux more broadly, accelerating the ecosystem's growth. Linux's potential is amplified by its modularity and adaptability. Unlike monolithic operating systems, Linux can be stripped down to its core and rebuilt for specific tasks. Need a lightweight OS for IoT sensors? There's a Linux distribution for that. Need a secure server for financial transactions? Linux can be hardened and optimized. Need a full-featured desktop for creative professionals? Linux can deliver that too. This adaptability is not theoretical. It is being realized today in industries ranging from aerospace to biotechnology. Organizations that once had to compromise on features or security can now build exactly what they need, thanks to Linux. Of course, Linux is not without challenges. Fragmentation has been a historical issue. With hundreds of distributions and varying standards creating complexity for users and developers alike, hardware support, while vastly improved, still lags behind in some consumer devices. And the learning curve, though reduced by modern desktop environments, can be intimidating for newcomers. Yet the momentum behind Linux is overwhelming. The industry's investment in usability, hardware compatibility, and standardization is accelerating faster than ever, and the ecosystem is beginning to converge in ways that make adoption easier and more practical for mainstream users. The coming years will likely see Linux move beyond its traditional strongholds and servers, cloud infrastructure, and development environments into the heart of personal computing. Imagine a scenario where the majority of desktops, laptops, and even mobile devices run Linux by default. Software installation is frictionless, Updates are predictable and secure, and users have full control over their devices. Developers create once and deploy everywhere. Gamers enjoy native and compatible titles, and enterprises reduce costs while improving security. The open-source ecosystem thrives as contributors from all over the world collaborate to solve problems faster than any single corporation could. In this future, the term operating system itself may lose its old meaning, replaced by a dynamic, modular platform that adapts seamlessly to every user's needs. We are also witnessing a cultural shift alongside the technological one. Open source, once seen as a fringe movement, is now recognized as a mainstream driver of innovation. Communities form around Linux distributions, not just as users, but as contributors, mentors, and advocates. Companies that embrace Linux are rewarded with agility, transparency, and community support. Governance that support Linux gain independence and security. And individuals who learn Linux gain not just skills, but freedom. 
freedom to explore, to innovate, and to control their digital lives. This cultural transformation may be the most profound impact of all, reshaping how we think about technology, ownership, and collaboration. Even more revolutionary is the intersection of Linux with emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, blockchain, and decentralized networks. AI requires reproducibility, scalability, and openness principles that Linux embodies. Blockchain networks thrive on transparency and community validation, another natural fit for open source platforms. Decentralized applications, from finance to social media, require operating systems that are flexible, auditable, and interoperable. Linux provides the foundation for all of these innovations, which means that the next generation of computing breakthroughs will almost certainly be built on Linux or compatible ecosystems. As Linux continues to mature, the barriers between hardware, software, and cloud services blur. Containerization, virtualization, and cloud-native architectures allow applications to move seamlessly across devices and networks. The Linux kernel, with its constant evolution, supports these architectures more efficiently than any other system. For enterprises, this means lower operational costs, faster deployment cycles, and more secure infrastructure. For developers, it means the ability to experiment without restriction. For end users, it means a computing experience that is responsive, adaptable, and secure. We are at a critical inflection point. Linux has already transformed servers, cloud computing, and mobile devices. But the next wave will redefine personal computing, gaming, enterprise infrastructure, and even societal access to technology. Companies, governments, and individuals who recognize this shift will be the ones shaping the future. Those who ignore it may find themselves locked out of a paradigm that prizes openness, adaptability, and collaboration. The question is no longer whether Linux can change everything, it is already doing so, but how quickly and in what ways this change will manifest in our daily lives. The future of operating systems is not closed, it is open. It is not controlled, it is collaborative. It is not restrictive, it is liberating. Linux represents not just a technological choice, but a philosophical one. The choice to embrace transparency, freedom, and adaptability in an increasingly complex digital world. The implications are profound. From the smartphones in our pockets, to the servers powering global AI, from the desktops and classrooms to the clouds running enterprise applications, Linux is quietly, steadily, and irreversibly reshaping the landscape. This is the operating system that empowers users, protects data, drives innovation, and connects communities around the world. It is more than software, it is a movement. So, when we look at the future of computing, we need to adjust our perspective. The traditional battles between proprietary giants are no longer the defining story. The real revolution is happening in the open source world, where Linux leads the charge. The tools we use, the systems we trust, and the technologies we build will increasingly be shaped by Linux and its principles. Whether you are a developer, an entrepreneur, a gamer, or a curious learner, understanding Linux and its trajectory is no longer optional. It is essential for anyone who wants to participate in the future of technology. Linux is not just about operating systems. It is about redefining how we interact with technology. It is about control, security, and freedom. It is about breaking down barriers and enabling innovation at unprecedented scales. It is about creating a platform that adapts to human needs rather than forcing humans to adapt to it. And the most remarkable part is that this transformation is not decades away, it is happening now, quietly, steadily, and with unstoppable momentum. The next time you think about the future of computing, remember this. Linux is not just part of the story, it is writing the story. It is changing everything, and the world as we know it is on the brink of a technological revolution fueled by open source, collaboration, and the enduring power of Linux.